Today, we're going to be talking about vegans. Yes, there's many different types of vegans. People become vegan for different reasons. They have different arguments for why, but they also have a difference in how destructive they are to society and civilization as a whole. We're going to rank them based on each of these things. So first of all, the least stupid argument is the moral argument. The moral argument pretty much says, I don't want to slaughter animals. I don't want to saw its head off. Now look, I do. And that's fine. We settle our differences. We totally understand. We totally understand, but we both have different moral arguments. But here's the problem. It's the least stupid, but it is still kind of stupid. Because like all vegans, like all liberals, like all communists, <clears throat> brain dead. So they often go by subjective morality. Let me actually see. Ben Shapiro was right. Ben Shapiro was right when he said facts don't care about your feelings. Because they're showing his videos to try and make us feel something. But feelings are not aligned with facts and objective morality. We should be basing things off objective morality. It's the whole liberal failure. He, he summed up liberalism correctly. They, they base it on subjective subjectivity and feelings. Now, he outlined their founding principle. However, he then caved to it himself because now he's putting his own feelings in with facts. So, you know, he's a liberal. Ben Shapiro's a liberal. Daily Wire is Jewish. But anyways, next point. You know, because it's the same with maybe the abortion argument. You can have whatever opinions you want to have on this, by the way. I'm not going to tell you what to think about this. Too controversial, you know, but it, their whole argument, pretty much the liberal argument, is, well, it doesn't feel wrong. You know, if I killed an adult human, I would feel guilty. It would, it would look wrong. But if it's in, a doc, if it's in, the, if it's in the hospital done by a doctor, it's okay. Because it feels okay. And that's a pretty it's a pretty weak argument. It's the same with transgenderism. They think, I saw this argument, a big buff guy, well, woman, tons of testosterone, steroids, and minoxidil for his big beard. But yeah. And someone was saying, you know, conservatives, conservatives are crazy, because what do you mean that's a woman? Well, no, it is. This is the thing. It looks like a man. Yes. No, 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 nobody ever disagreed with that. Clearly, if, if I saw him in the street, I would think it's a man. And, and that was their argument. One of them was arguing with me. He was like, if, if you were walking in the street, would you think it's a man or a woman? I would think it's a man, and I'd be wrong. You know, facts don't care about your feelings. And the second least argument, the second least dumb argument is the climate change argument. You might be thinking, it's probably the most stupid argument in the world. How can there be something stupider than it? But remember, this is vegans, this is the liberals, of course, there can always be something dumber. The climate change argument, they kind of rely on the fact that you don't you don't go and think. They they hope they just hope you don't think about anything. Because they'll say, Okay, so basically guys, what happens is the cows emit methane and then it goes in the and it destroys the ozone layer and it makes the makes the planet hotter. They're just expecting that you don't think for yourself. It's pretty obvious to just debunk it. Why would nature be bad for nature? It doesn't make sense. Why would an animal be destructive to society? Why would an animal lead to the destruction of the entire planet? It just doesn't make sense. I've heard worse arguments. People have said dumber things. They're, they just rely on the fact that it's carbon dioxide, it's invisible, you can't see it, and you're scared of what you don't know. But it is pretty stupid. Why would nature be bad for nature? It's pretty much that simple. The worst argument in the entire world, though, is the health argument. People sit there, I'm vegan because it's healthy. How could you be vegan because it's healthy? It, doesn't, it just doesn't make sense. They're, they're doing the same thing. They're relying on the fact that you don't think. Because, what? just think about this, right? They sit there and say, it's bad for you because the cholesterol, and, and there's all this chronic disease now, it's because of the butter. Okay, if it's because of the butter, then why why did we eat less of it and these problems are getting worse? You're just hoping you don't go and think about that. Why would the why would the food that our ancestors ate that humans are supposed to biologically supposed to eat, why would they be bad for you? Just think about it. There's no reason on earth that that could ever be bad for you. And they'll sit there and say, Well the lifespan was only forty. Yeah, because we're all killing each other. Have have you ever heard of infant mortality? Hmm? Ever heard of disease? I know you care about disease. I think COVID was going to wipe everyone out. So you, you forget that that could happen in the past as well with no healthcare systems. <laughs> we, we, meat is bad because McDonald's. 
what is this? There's nothing similar. Oh, these McDonald's Big Macs are causing they're causing heart attacks. Therefore, uh, meat's bad actually. Are you brain dead? Well, I mean, yes, quite frankly, they are. But the most dangerous reasons for veganism are ranked differently because this time I said the moral argument was the least stupid, and this time is actually not the least dangerous. The least dangerous is the health one. So the, the health one is the most stupid, but it's the least dangerous. People are sitting there, it's for my health, it's about me, I want to feel better. They're lying, but still, it, it's all about themselves. It's not other people's business and what they're eating, because they're just doing it because they want to, and they think it's better for them. So they're going to leave us alone. We can eat our burger, and they'll sit there, and they might think, mm, maybe that's not so good for them, but they're going to leave us alone. They might lie to us. They might sit and go, well, actually, vegetables are better. You know, <laughs> you know, uh, asparagus is the way, asparagus is strength. And like, you know, so they might be stupid, but they're going to leave us to do our own thing. They're going to let us live our lives because this is all I push for, freedom. Very simple. The second most dangerous one is the moral argument because the moral argument suggests that if something is immoral, if something's a moral evil, it's kind of everyone's business. This isn't just their business. This is the animal's business. This is your business. Because you, you are killing an animal and you're responsible for it. So therefore, you're kind of a bad person. So they've got to come in and judge you. Hey, because you can't... So, so, so someone sees you eating a burger and they think it's because... And they, and they believe they're vegan because they think it's healthy. They'll sit there. They'll sit there, look at you, think, mm, you know, I'm sure you could be eating a healthier food right now. But if someone is doing it for the moral argument for the moral reason, is going to sit there looking at you eating your burger and go, he's a murderer. Arr! He's going to get really upset and angry over it. And therefore, they're a little more dangerous. They're going to try and tell you what to do. Hey, you're committing murder. You're, you're hurting people. You're, you're responsible for hurting animals. So therefore, it is kind of their business. If they were right. I mean, that is right. We are responsible for killing animals. The difference is, I don't care. And it's animal lives. Our animal rights ain't human rights. You know, they sit there saying transgender rights are human rights. One, no, they're not, and neither are animals. So let's just get this sorted out of the way first. The most dangerous of them all is the climate change argument. Because they're saying there's an existential threat. The whole planet is going to burn and melt and die. And everything along with it, humans, animals, everything will cease to exist. Therefore, you eating meat, by you eating meat, by you going on holiday, by you driving a car, you're complicit in genocide. You're complicit in genocide by just being a free individual. And therefore, it really is their business. They sit there and say, and by the way, some of the World Economic Forum said this, fishing is ecocide. Farming is ecocide. We're destroying the nature. We're destroying the planet. Animals are going to die because, I mean, animals can die if we're killing them, but they're saying just by us eating it, cow farts are destroying the planet and therefore it is their business and it's not just dangerous because what they want is dangerous it's dangerous because they buy into it so much you get these you know the rockefeller foundation funds climate protest groups but a lot of these groups have people in it that genuinely buy into this these people are far 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 more likely to try and infiltrate government penetrate the cabinets like klaus schwab there's nothing wrong with penetrating the cabinets, by the way. It's just, as long as you're pro-freedom, then go for it. Because you can't have empty cabinets. You have to have someone in them. So you're either going to be Carl Schwab's men, the vegans, or same thing. Or it could be us. I think it should be us. But yeah, that's, that's a whole other point, right? The climate change argument, they're going to start lobbying to try and get rid of meat. We see C40 cities. They're going to make a big deal out of it. Because if you just think it's kind of wrong, it's morally wrong, whatever... You're not going to start making organizations to tackle it and you're going to put all of your energy and you're going to scream about it, scream about it. You, some might, but you're not going to be as motivated as people who think the entire planet only has 15 years left to live and the only, the only solution is communism. Those guys are going to try really hard. They got a lot of drive for that. And that's really, really dangerous. So yeah, as usual, the communist climate cultists are the worst people on the planet. There's nothing worse than the communists because the communists... Or there's just nothing good about them. They're saying that everything is the government's responsibility and global... This is the other thing with the climate the climate change argument. They think it's a global challenging 
global challenges require global solutions. Therefore, we need a one world government to save the planet and to make everyone go vegan. I don't want centralized one world government authority globalist to try and tell you what I can and cannot eat. But they're going to do it anyway. So yeah, that's my thoughts on veganism. If you have any opposing thoughts, you can say in the replies. You can support my work in the top reply at the bottom. Support me so I can continue offering this brilliant information. And yeah, long live free.